because I was having a thought, and I was what I was saying is we need less distribution of power. You could say more centralized power, but that sounds scary because we're all against centralized bank and digital currencies. But you know, I think if there was less distribution of power, it would be much easier to promote change in the world. Because what we have in this system now is we have, you know, we have the politicians, we have the NGOs like the World Economic Forum and World Health Organization and the UN, and then we have the EU as well, then we have the BlackRock and State Street and Vanguard, and then we have the big, the other big monopolies, then we have the banks, and then we have the lobbyists and the other organizations, and we have so much distribution of power that how do we even, you know, okay, just think about it. The French Revolution, everybody knows about the French Revolution, how would that have happened if it wasn't just the kings and queens that ran things? Imagine it was everything that runs things today. How exactly do you overthrow that kind of government or regime? You can't. It's, well, I don't know it's by hopelessness. I'm, I'm going to say we can still. It's still possible, but very difficult. All you pretty much had to do back then is, you know, kill a few monarchs. And then revolutions already happened. And, you know, it was pretty simple back then. But now it's like we could get rid of a couple of the lawmakers. It doesn't change anything. We could even get rid of the entire world, uh, world economic forum. Still, nothing would change. We could get rid of the entire EU. We could probably get rid of BlackRock. That would make a bigger difference. But we could we could still get rid of them and be the other people. And then we could get rid of some of the rich families that have these secret control, or whatever. Still, wouldn't change much because there's. And how do you even go after all these things? It's impossible. Again, it's not possible, but it's way too difficult. As in, if we just had one leader. It almost sounds like a dictatorship, but I'm almost at the same time. Because you might think I'm pro freedom and all this stuff, and I am. But I'm thinking it would actually we'd actually be in a freer society if we just had ten people with a ton of power, because then all you have to do if, if those ten people are acting up and you know destroying the country, you just remove those ten people and the entire system changes. And because and the proof of this all this distribution of power and control that makes it annoying is. We've seen Donald Trump get into office. I believe he had good intentions, but what happens is he's seen how things really work, and he, he barely could change anything. It's not because he wasn't trying. It's not because he's a secret, controlled opposition, whatever, whatever. It's just because there's so much distribution of power that even when you get in there, you can barely change anything. Because things are so... At the core of it, there's other people that control it. Sure, I could become the leader of this country in 20 years, but it doesn't matter, really, because, I mean, all the MPs were down against me because they're all controlled by these lobbyists and they're all, you know, bought and sold. And then I could be in charge, but then the corporations will still be owned by BlackRock, so then BlackRock can just tell them what to do and make everything automated. And then I'm going to be, and then I would be told, look, everyone's there homeless without a job. You need to do universal basic income. And I'd be like, I guess you're right. Because they would be right. Kind of like when you go homeless. And sure, maybe that would be okay then because I'm not going to use that power to enslave the people but power corrupts so most people would because this is a hypothetical if i were in power what are the chances of that happening slim depends if i want to or not if i want to then it'll happen but you know th I, this is a long way away by then we might have carbon trackers cbdts everything's too late that's if we fail but i, I still i still believe in this you know to fight back so I think we need less distribution of power. We need more centralized authority. Just Let's just give Rishi Sunak more power. Not because I even like him, but because if we just gave him all the power, got rid of these black rock and lobbyists and other things, if he starts... Because how do we even know he's bad? Because we sit here and blame the prime minister for all our problems, but if the power is so distributed, it's kind of everybody's fault by 0.001%. Out of all the elite, because there's so many of them. How much can... Because he could... He might actually be in our side, right? We wouldn't... Sure, he did do the whole video of making central bank digital currency, so he's not. But I'm saying he could be, and we wouldn't even know, because he wouldn't be able to change anything. he sit there, oh, I want to do this. Guys, let's get all the MPs, try pass this thing. And then none of them do, because all the lobbyists that own them say, no, we don't want you to do this. So then he, he has no power, essentially. So... I, I don't see much change happening until we get rid of this such large distribution of power. Until then, we're going to have to... I mean, I guess that might that must be the 
the way we have to try and attack certain things. Let's go after the lobbyists first of all, and then we, if we give less control of the big corporations, right? If nobody, if everybody starts shopping local and get rid of the, the big corporations, then BlackRock lose their power, so we don't have BlackRock to worry about. Uh, Britain left EU, so that's slightly less distribution of power. That's good, and then you can try and ban the World Economic Forum if you want. Huge lawsuits against the world, and then you're kind of cracking down on these things because I don't think our main, I don't think we should be targeting Parliament and the Prime Minister as heavily as we do. I think because I think they should be in power, and I think because when we say democracy is an illu- is an illusion, it's not because it's not even essentially because Parliament's all just trying to, you know, create this illusion. It's because of all the other people that have power, because voting does do something. It votes in the party we want it's not that that party's on the other team on the other side it's just the fact that that party essentially because parliament and the mps and the politicians have no power it just means that nothing will change anyway because the system the power doesn't lie in the parliament that's why like yeah the power doesn't lie in the parliament so you know it's not even necessarily that they're on the other side it's just they have no power so if we could actually try and get as much power to the parliament and the mps as possible well, first of all, then we'll maybe see who really has good intentions, who's really pushing the right things. Second of all, it's going to be easier to identify who's causing the problems and get rid of that person. Because we can't, we, you know, I'm not crazy liberal who wants anarchy. I think there should be one government, as in there's parliament. There should be no other people trying to control their lives. There should be no other of these, you know, lobbyist organizations. The, the bank should have this control and whatever and that. If we just had parliament, it'd be very, 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 very easy to identify who's causing what problem. And that's all I really call for. So I think we should try to crack down these externalized organizations, these globalist organizations that are taking away power from us, the country, us, the voters. And if we can do that, long live freedom.